Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with Windows script host error 0xc004f025 when you're attempting to activate Windows using your product key. So if you're having this error message, again, using a legitimate product key from Windows and you're coming across this error message, Microsoft does have built-in troubleshooting utilities to help resolve this problem. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to recommend doing is opening up the start menu. Type in CMD, best result, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I'm going to have a command in the description of my video, guys. I want you to copy it. So it's slmgr.vbs and then space minus sign rearm. This is just going to hopefully reinitiate the activation process and then it should go through successfully. So go ahead and copy that from the description of my video. Right click on the top bar of the command prompt window, select edit and then paste. Go ahead and hit enter. Should say command completed successfully. Go ahead and select OK. Close out of here and you want to restart your computer at this point. And there you go, guys. Hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. If not, something else we can try here as well would be to open up the search menu again and type in troubleshoot. Best result should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. And now you want to go down where it says other troubleshooters and go ahead and left click on that. You want to scroll down underneath other. Active. Since my version of Windows is already activated, I don't have an option here to go ahead and run the troubleshooter. But there'd be an option underneath other to run the activation troubleshooter, which I would recommend you guys trying at that point. Make sure that the product key you're typing in is the correct numbers as well. Make sure you didn't miss any characters. And that's pretty much it, guys. So pretty straightforward process. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.